welcome to Paris, the French capital known as the city of love. And it's a city where the streets overflow with history, culture and classic architecture. Paris is also a city that loves its sport. And in 2024, this city will, for a third time, host the Summer Olympic Games. It is therefore very fitting that for a 14th year, we're here at the stadium named after the founder of the modern Olympic Games, Pierre de Coubertin. This, the Onyx French Open, is a Super 750 event on the HSBC BWF World Tour. And it's semi-finals day, and this afternoon we have five matches in the second session of the day. We're starting with women's singles, and Akane Yamaguchi, the number one seed, the former champion, looking to reach a third final here. She's up against the defending champion, Aung Se Young of Korea. Then it's been singles and it's an all-Japanese affair. Kenta Momota, the reigning and two-time world champion, is up against Kanta Sunyama, looking to reach his first final at Super 750 World Tour level. Then it's women's doubles and the defending champions, Lee So-hee and Shin Seung chan are up against a new Japanese pairing, Yuka Fikushima and Arista Higashino. Higashino is already through to the mixed doubles final. And following that women's doubles, we will have the second of the mixed doubles. And it features Christiansen and Boya, the bronze medalists from the European Championships, up against the Olympic semi-finalists and number seven seeds, Tang Chung Mang and Si Ying Suet. Then we will finish with men's doubles and the Olympic bronze medalists Aaron Cha and Suwi Ik of Malaysia up against the 2014 world champions Go Sun Kyung and Shin Bek Chol. Well, with women's singles our first semi-final in this second session of the day, chance for us to look at the draw. And I can tell you by quarter-final stage, we only had six seeds. We'd actually only started with seven seeds. Three seeds in each half of the draw five different nationalities because as you can see three from thailand two from japan at semi-final stage both the japanese players are still through three seeds three nationalities at semi-final stage and as you can see a big upset in the bottom half of the draw sayaka takahashi beating the reigning world champion pusala venkata sindhu in three games so in the top half of the draw we have the 2018 winner akane yamaguchi against the defending champion Aung Se Young. so the winners of the women's singles from the past two French Opens battling it out in today's semi-final. You couldn't really ask for more. I'm Jill Clark, delighted to say that Morton Frost is sitting alongside me. We couldn't have scripted that any better, could we, no, Morton? Absolutely not. It's a, it's a perfect match, and of course it's a, a rematch of the final of the Denmark Open of uh, last week as well. So, you know, what more can you ask for? And last week, of course, it yeah. was a marathon match. It was. An hour and 18 minutes when Aung Si Young, who'd been nursing, we're not sure whether it was a hamstring problem or whether it was an adductor muscle, but certainly she, we saw it happen. Yeah. Well, so she was struggling and she uh, then quit at 16-5 down in the deciding game. We hope there's no more injury problems. We hope we get a full match. Absolutely. Because this should be absolutely terrific. The 2018 winner, Akane Yamaguchi, looking today to reach her third final here at the French Open. And the defending champion, An Se Young of Korea. Well, this is only her second appearance at the French Open, which means that she's played for two years so far and has never lost a match. Five wins last year, three so far this. Eight and zero, as far as she's concerned, for wins at the French Open. Now, this, as you can see, is the seventh meeting between these two players, and honours are shared at three wins apiece. But the last time they met was that Denmark Open final that Morton and I were just talking about. Gosh, well, we, we hope we don't have a similar thing with injuries, but we hope we have a match half as good as in Odin's, and we will be treated. To. We will so be treated. Yeah. 
Um, Couldn't agree with you more. Now, Morton, you're, you're the toss of the coin expert. Did you yes. manage to see who won and who changed, uh, chose ends? Because they've changed ends before the warm-up. No, I did not. It was my duty and I didn't make it. Well, that's You made it. it so exciting for me. <laughs> so I was just listening to you. Well, never mind. One of them believes that there is a better end, as I always do in any stadium. I always think there's a, a slight drift. Akani Yamaguchi is 24 years of age, making her seventh consecutive appearance at the French Open. And considering she's only 24, she started here at a very young age. Both her finals have been against Tai Su Ying, the current world number one, beating Tai Su Ying three years ago, losing to her four years ago. And when we look at her path through to this semi-final, well, first round against Kim Ga Un and then Evgenia Kosetskaya had to come oh, in the second game there, one on her fourth match point, and then the quarter-final against the All England finest, Cho Chuan of Thailand dropped the second game, but 21-16 in the deciding game. But that was a long match, an hour and 10 minutes for that. And the young is just 19 years of age. Beat Carolina Marin of Spain in the final in three games. Last French Open quarter-final, she'd beaten Sina Nawal, and semi-final, she'd beaten her opponent of today. So it was a terrific run for her two years ago. Well, her matches so far, all of them in two straight games. Hue from France, then Kiersfeld from Denmark, and then Yo Jiamin from Singapore in the quarter-final yesterday. So both of these players on a quest to make history or add to the history books, and I'll explain a little more of that a bit later as we look at our fort officials for this one from India and France. So, Choi Sambum, coach for Yamaguchi. Chun-hei for Se Young. So the coach is all in position. And Akana Yamaguchi trying to equal the most number of finals by a winning singles player at the French Open. Because nobody's been in more than three. But she has to win this one to equal that. Well, you can see that the right leg of Van Se Young is still heavily strapped. We saw that last week after she slipped during one of her early round matches Ready? at the Denmark Open. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Akane Yamaguchi, Japan. And then Josi of India, our umpire for this one. And on my left, Anse Yang, Korea. Akane Yamaguchi to serve. Love all. Play. So the 2018 winner, Akane Yamaguchi, are getting this semi final underway against the defending champion, Anse Yang. Yeah, that's a good one. It's not an easy shot to play on the first. One love. But I can tell you that uh, our very good friend behind the scene, Alex, has confirmed for me, been helping me, that Aung Se Young won the toss and she chose the ends. Excellent. So thank you very much, Alex. Service over. One all. Elaborating on that choice of ends. One. Morton by this lady. 
Yes. Now, we at the start of the week didn't think there was really much... Uh, drift. Much drift, but oh. as the week has gone on, I felt a draft on my back. That's oh. just wide. And I think there is a slight drift, and the shuttle is flying Service a little order. faster going towards the Korean. Yes. Um, so she's starting at the better end, I think, for singles, because you've got more chance of oh. lifting to the back, clearing to using the back. The, using the back of, of the court is a lot, lot easier, correct? <coughs> Excuse me. But I think it's, it's extremely interesting, actually, because uh, when I was calling uh, the match uh, this morning between Zhou Chen Chen and Ho Kuang Hee, um, Cho Chen Chen, he won the toss and he chose ends and normally Cho Chen Chen is always choosing the bad end first to end on the good end. He chose the good end first because he wanted to win in two straight games and so he did today. Yeah. It was a deliberate tactic from him and perhaps Ang Se Yong is having the same thought of idea that yeah. she wants this in two, two straight games. She wants to take the first and add on the pressure. Yeah. I can see the theory. Quart. Yeah, that's a good shot. It definitely worked for Cho Chen Chen of Chinese one. Taipei this morning in the men's singles. But Three. whether Ang oh. Se Young can do the same in the women's singles is another matter, but I think that was the sort of idea and ratio behind it. Well, in all honesty, I think she won't be wanting another hard-fought match as she had last week in the final. No. But it means that she's got to win the first. Oh, that's a misjudgment. From Makano Yamaguchi, that's landed on the line. Four, three. Loose. Yeah. Service over for all. That's why. Down the line, yes. Yeah, yeah don't well, open up. So, you, does she normally hit cross then? Uh, she actually, she's very often using that sort of tactics, going down the Six, line on the last one. Four. But a lot of players are going cross court, and then of course opening up. And is it coming back? You're the one that's doing the the running. Yeah. yeah. So it was clever, but she is quite often doing it. Service over five six. No, yes. and I like the follow up from uh, Yamaguchi. Should that one come back, you know, racket Service to it, over. it would be a block. And Yamaguchi Seven, straight away there. Five. Try to look at this. She's already almost at the net. Mm, I like that punch, punch clear from Yamaguchi. Yeah, she is setting the pace. Eight, five.
challenge here from Anse Young. She was right there. She thinks that's missed the Anse line. Young it's called good. Called in. If you are a fan of uh, Aung San Young, I would be slightly worried. Maybe it's just a little hint of it, but I think she's the body language. She's not looking too confident. Well, we're still waiting for Hawkeye in the instant review. Here we go. And it just caught the line. Well done, line judge. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Nine, five. Play. Really well played by Yamaguchi. And then again down the line and a follow up. Yes. The next time, if I was Yamaguchi, I would go across court with a slice. Ten, make it five. as steep as possible from that forehand side. Instead of smashing straight down the line? Yes. Just to mix it up, play with variation. That's a nice one. That is fantastic from Akane Yamaguchi. And a six-point advantage five. at the mid-game In interval for last week's champion. same two players what does the coach do do you say okay well you you were in it you just ran out of steam or do you say you know so we're not drastically turn, changing tactics or do you say actually let's try something completely different as it, as it is now I would try something completely different as it is right now because I think the body language of uh, Aung San Young is not looking good she doesn't look too confident I think the 11, best weapon five. from her is taken away Play. and that's the, the running skills yeah and from the match of last week where she actually had to withdraw with cramp mm. it's like that weapon is taken away from Service her over. that asset is Six, taken away so 11. she's in the wilderness it looks like at the moment on what to do so if, if i was the coach i would say okay let's go for a different approach Let's see if we can play faster and really put Akane Yamaguchi under pressure and see if we can play some really good winning shots. But when you look at the attack from the here, the attack, this one, and also from the around the head situation on a few times, it's half-hearted. It's not really trying to go Six. for the winner. And I think that's worrying time if you're a fan of Aung San Just my oldest challenge. Akare Yamaguchi challenges called out. Well, that same line judge was right on his first call that was challenged. Has he been right again? He has. Yeah, sharp, sharp. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. Seven, twelve. Play. Yeah. 
Oh, that's what I meant. Yeah. But for a start, there wasn't Sons enough pressure one. with that attacking shot Cody. from Anse Young. But nope. there was no push forward afterwards. No. Nope. No speedy movement. As I say, I think she's dented in all honesty in terms of the fact of last week. I think it's really playing on her mind. Seven. Yeah, because she's always been the player that we think of that, you know, opponents are dreading to play because she retrieves so well. That's a magnificent smash. Cross court from Yamaguchi. You know, so if 15, some one of your opponents seven. suddenly outlasts you, where you've always believed that you can outlast any other player. Yes. I can see your point. I can see the psychology of That's that is, yeah. is denting. Service over. Eight. But that's a 15. good shot. That's the first time she's really going for an outright winner. Ang Se Young. And that's a foolish shot from uh, Yamaguchi. And that's getting punished. 16, 9. Service over. Ah, that was ambitious. <laughs> that was 10, exactly my word. I was thinking 16. that was ambitious. <laughs> tried that ambitious backhand cross-court defensive shot once again and once again it hasn't worked 12 16 yeah that shot be should be put back into the toolbox for the next five or ten minutes for sure Body smash. Yeah, good rally. Well, this is a very, very good fight back from Ansi Young. 13, 16. Yeah, she's getting some belief back somehow finding it and that's really good for this match six of the last seven points yeah. to the Korean and out of those six points three are mistakes from the racket of Yamaguchi What a lovely drop. That round the head straight drop from Yamaguchi. Technically, it's very difficult to play because it's so easy to drag the shuttle wide over. of the sideline. Perfection. 13. Yeah, it's probably one of the most difficult shots in the in the whole Booger Badminton. Yeah.
1813. That's wide. Three points away from the opening game. 1913. That is amazing. What a shot. Desperately late and yet played the perfect forehand cross court net 20, shot. Look at that. Game point. Yeah, so tight. So extremely tight. Game point opportunities. Only needed game. the one. 21 13 opening game in a little over 13, game, 17 minutes. Akane Yamaguchi, 21 <laughs> Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Second game, Love All. Black. So one game to the good. Oh my goodness, didn't she play well in that opening game? Akane Yamaguchi. That's not such a shabby serve to start the second game either, is one it? One Hands on the back line. Definitely not. Service over. One all. Oh, that's a good yeah. shot. The body language already here in the first three rallies, much, much better Two, from Ang Sion. One. Seems she had a good talk to her coach. She's challenging that. Akane Yamaguchi challenges. It was called good. In. And we've got no chance of seeing that from nope. this end of the court, have we? Not. Definitely not. Oh, yes. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Really in. 
3, 1. Play. Good play by Ang Se Young. Like this, she's stepping forward to into it and then guiding that cross court, reaching it Four, as early as possible. One. Look at this. This is nice. Yeah, didn't try to make it too fancy or anything, did no, you? No, just pace, pure yeah. pace. It's a good lift. It's wide. Service over. Two four. I think we're in for Service a real over. treat in this second game. Five, it's looking two. good. Oh, wonderful smash from Akane Yamaguchi, cross court. Service over. Very accurate. Three, five. The shot quality of the two players definitely gone up. Oh, that's a good shot. a little bit of slice on it, didn't it? it? It did, it was really nice. And of course, in terms of tactics, playing it, the shuttle back to where your opponent is coming from is always a good thing. And here, I think we saw Service a taste over. of what Ang uh, Siyong can do as well. We saw it from uh, Yamaguchi, it's kind of a similar shot. wide service over mr ben yoni five president six. of yonix company Our tournament sponsors she tried it again she did it's still not working no. it worked once early on I remember it. Okay, Service but it depends on how far seven, Yamaguchi have to reach five. for it, I think. Yeah. Oh, yes. Well, I'm so young, didn't even seem to move to that one. No, she didn't see it. It was well played. Over. Good disguise Six, from Yamaguchi. Yeah. Seven. Look. Left stranded. Oh, that's just ridiculously good. She played that backhand block. Well, she tried to play it straight this time, which was a jolly good thing. But look, she does a full pirouette. Seven. Yeah, she managed to off. block it and they just became perfect. It's nice control. Bad careful. Not for long. 
service over 8, 7. Service over eight all. Oh, what a great net shot. Yeah. Wonderful play from this lady, Amsa Young. Look at this net shot. It's the top of the tape. Over. Goes over. Look, I can't Nine, hear Maguchi managed to get it back. Eight. Yeah, she did a good job on that. Very good job. Yeah, that's a super shot. Ten, I think eight. shots like that are signs that she is getting more winning shots. You were talking about it when we first saw her. That's landed in yep. to the mid-game interval with a three-point advantage. Eleven, the defending eight. champion. But yes, you were you were talking about it when she first burst onto the world stage, Anse Young, and possibly, you know, here last year when she won the title and saying it, it's very exciting times to have such a talented young Korean player but you said if she wants to get to winning major titles and we're talking about world championships Olympic games things like that she needs to develop more weapons more winning shots correct and uh, I think this time when we've seen her since uh, yeah perhaps even the Olympics I would say when I saw her coming uh, on let's say this trip Finland Denmark now Paris I think they have worked on it. She's a lot, lot sharper, have more options, and uh, that's the way forward. Yeah. Eleven, eight. Blake? So, eleven, eight. Yamaguchi won the first game, though. Nice drop. Yeah, it's in. Twelve, eight. Yeah, mm. I this, think we're treated. Is this the decisive move? It is. I Third think so. I think we're eight. decided to a third, third game here. Because this is five straight points from eight all. It's really good clears. Very, very straight down the line. Nice drop. Lovely drop. But the quality of, of the badminton here is phenomenal. It clears down the line, whether it was attacking clear or more defensive clears. They were line right on the line, 30. all five or six of them. Oh, yes. Service over 49. Mm, she wasn't fooled by the cross court drive. No. Nope. But it was a good choice from Yamaguchi. 
It's a way to get out of trouble. Oh, yes. Yeah, it was so tight, it got the neck cord. Fantastic save. Really good save by Alan Sion. Oh, that's a beauty. What? That's a clear. That attack of clear is awesome. Absolutely brilliant. And here it comes. Yeah. Oh, the hole in that flick is yeah. just phenomenal. Okay, thank you. Thank you. One thing I, I have noticed more than with MC Young, she has very, very early racket preparation, a bit like yeah. Carolina Marin. Yes. And she almost seems to have to stop. And then especially on the forehand side, doesn't seem to really reach up high for it. No. Nope. She's got... There. Yeah, she's got a little bit of a... Yeah, I don't know. Ben Oh, went over. Yamaguchi had stopped. She didn't think it was going to get over the net. 17-10. But the 13-8 seemed like the decisive move in the yeah. second game. Those five points from yeah. eight all. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think Yamaguchi has... She's also given up on it. Yeah, that, given uh, up on this second game. Yes. Saving energy. 18 just going through the motions, the last three points, and then that's it. Just long. 19, 10. Oh, got her in the cheek. Yeah, she's OK. Yeah. Yeah, and the apology from Ansi Young. 20, Ooh, yeah. game that point, could have been nasty. 10. She is OK. Some game point opportunities. Yeah. Second game, 21-10. Going through the motions. In favour of the defending champion, Ansi Young. Ansi Young, 21-10. One game off. Only 35 minutes into the match.
20 seconds. 20 seconds. Interesting to me that neither coach used all of their allotted time. In the two minute timeout Final between game. games. I think Love all. the players will revert back to the play. game plan A. It's been a very short two first games, 35 minutes of play. And it's, you know, they're quite fresh, I think. I'm saying so challenges. It, it's all out for one game now. Out. And I think they will go back to game plan one. I can't believe she's challenged that in the first rally. Yeah, that's a total waste. Challenge unsuccessful. Down as a service error. One challenge remaining. I call it inexperience. Yeah. Service over. One. Yeah, last, last week. Play. For the first two games in the final. That was an hour. hour. One hour. Yeah. Well, I think she would have had more chance challenging that two one. Love. over one two Well, this is the third meeting between these two players three, in three weeks. Two. They'll be glad for a week off, won't they? I don't think they're going to Germany, are they? No, that's not my impression. No. Well, they need to get ready for Bali. Missed it. Service over. Three. Oh, that is absolutely wonderful. The jump smash there from Akane Yamaguchi. Watch this. Not the tallest of athletes. 156, that's just under five foot two. But getting as high as she possibly could to Four, create the extra angle. Three. Service error. Service over for all. <laughs> Service over. Now we were correct. I five, just checked it. None of these two four. players uh, entered into the German. No. That would be just too much, wouldn't it? Yeah. Six, scrappy. Five. <laughs> yes, it is. Too many errors. Mm. 
seven, five. Good quality of shot. And one more. And you know, she played that drop that clear from Yamaguchi being down the centre so of the court. So, really giving her no angles, and yet she still played a winning drop. Still, exactly, still she Seven. managed to do it so well. It worked. Uh, that was a longer rally. Seven. Yeah, longer so far. Mm. Indecision on whether she was going to return that high serve or not. Well, she played Seven. it from a too low position. And that meant going into the net. Service over. But as you said, you know, it's a little bit scrappy, oh. isn't it? Mm. I'm not surprised, though. Akane Yamaguchi played 10 matches in both the Sudaman Cup and Uber Cup campaigns. Total of 10 matches. Five matches last week, 15 matches. She played another three here. That's an awful lot of matches. And an awful lot of responsibility. Yeah. Yeah, because they're tough matches. When you play at first singles in the Sudaman Cup and first singles in the Uber Cup, yeah. there's no easy matches. No. Nope. And it's all riding on you to give the team a good start. She's doing an awful lot of running in this rally too, is Yamaguchi. She is. Brilliant. Well taken. Well, Yamaguchi staying down on court for what seemed an age. Service over. I like the way she's trying to get it back. Nine, That's the one. Eight. Yeah, it's got to be the longest run so far. Yep, it is 37 shots. And the previous rally was 30 shots. Yeah, it's getting longer and longer now. Yeah. It's like both of them are waiting for the other one to make a move. Yeah. yeah. Can't afford the backhand from deep in court like that. You've got your back to the net. You can't see where your opponent is. And Yamaguchi Seven taking four. full advantage. Nine. So one game all. all. Nine all. Ten. Nine. It's gone wide. So it is a two-point advantage at the mid-game interval as nine. the players change ends Interval. this deciding game and the advantage. 
is with the 2018 winner, Akane Yamaguchi. Exchanges. Oh, was that going out? No, I think it actually stayed in. I think she was wise to take it. That's amazing retrieving. And that's out. Yeah. Service over. 10, 11. So that's that advantage out the window. Yeah. Eleven all. Oh, oh that's, that's sensational. Swayed the body one way. Look at that. Well, Hits the shuttle the 11. other. Yeah, one have to say Yamaguchi was far away from that one. Yeah. So three Very straight far. points since the change of ends. Very far. long. Well, I'm now not convinced by our analysis of the drift at all, Morton. 13, 11. <laughs> you think it's changed? Mm, I do. Four straight points since the change of ends. This is a impo very important point for Yamaguchi. Yes, this has got to hang in. Got to hang in. Got to stop this run. Stop it at four. Yamaguchi is hurting. Yeah, she is. Amazing. And that's wide, I think. That's short. Yeah, that's a cross. I don't that's believe the, it. That's the cross I was waiting for. Brilliant. Wonderful, wonderful dive from Ansi Young. Look at this, full length. Yamaguchi had pretty much stopped, but realised she had to go for the dive return. And Anse Young unable to get up. My goodness me, what commitment. <laughs> 52 <laughs> shots. 
Well, we are back to wins, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. That's what we saw last week in the yeah. final. Rallies like that. They could hardly walk. Short the lift was. Look where Yamaguchi played that smash from. So one game all, 13 all. That's wide. Yep. Yeah, well left. I thought she was going to play that for a moment. It's almost like the tougher 40, it comes, 30. the more Yamaguchi is just running, the more yeah. she's just sticking at it somehow. Yeah, her mental toughness must yeah. be incredible. What? Well, Yamaguchi's answer to four straight points from Aung Se Young, the number four seed, is to 15, win four points herself. 30. And she's restored her two-point advantage that she had at the change of ends. That's a good lift. But there is no doubt that Yamaguchi is using more power effort to play than what Aung Se Young is doing. Mm. But whether it's making a difference or not, I can't really say, but uh, she's 16, definitely using more energy. 30. Brilliant. Oh, <laughs> terrific. Yeah, good shot. It was the right one at the moment. Because Yamaguchi was up to cover the back of the court. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thank you. You can't ever accuse these two of lack of effort, can you? No. So good for the sport. Yeah. Fourteen. 16. Brilliant. Yeah, that's the problem. If you play cross court and you really don't have your opponent under pressure, then a simple straight block from your opponent and you've got a full diagonal of the court to scamper. Yeah. Not enough pressure on that one. She's getting caught. Exactly what she said, Jill. Thank you. Service over. Seventeen fourteen. Missed it. That could be costly. Yeah. Four point pushing now. Four point gap. It's huge 18, right now. Yeah. 14. Only three points away from her third final. Oh! <laughs> Say <Take> that! <laughs> that was... you got to love it. So you so got to love it. Poor old Yamaguchi 15, <laughs> just completely 18. went the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. Good skills. 
And there's a really good risk element as well from Ang Si Young. Good defense. Oi, 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 oi. We are getting treated here. It's amazing. Look at that. It's not only the disguise. Look where this shuttle lands. Yeah. Well in front of that. It's a front Thank service you. line. Skimming the top of the tape as well. Yeah. Service over. Two points away from the third French 50. Open final for Akane Yamaguchi. But Anse Young is not going to give up her crown, 16, her title here, 90. without a real fight. This is far from over, I'm telling you. and went into the splits position. Yeah, but that was a bad one. Yeah, she didn't move, and that's what I don't like. The fact that she didn't even try to get up again. Oh, yeah, oh, I didn't like that. Oh, oh dear. Oh, she is back up, I can tell you. That's amazing. Two points, the deficit. 17, 19. Oh. Wonderful neck exchange. Yeah, they're testing one another. And look at this one. Brilliant. Well, the net play from Anse Young in that rally was absolutely superb. It's the net cord. And she played a couple of good net shots earlier than oh, that. Earlier than that, yes. Very yeah. tight ones as well. And as you said, far from 19. over. 18, 19. Yep. Three straight points to Anse Young. Yamaguchi on the attack. The drop. Oh, that's a wonderful kill from the net. I don't know whether you call it a kill or a push, but either way. I think she did the right thing. I will call it a push into the deep forehand corner. Rather than trying to go for, you know, the outright kill. It was placement and that was it. So match two point. match point opportunities for the two-time finalist of Kani Yamaguchi. And she converts on her first match point through to a third final at the French Open in four years. That is remarkable. Akane Yamaguchi. 21-13, 10-21, 21-18 in the deciding game against last French Open champion, Anne C. Young. Exactly one hour in duration for that wonderful women's singles semi-final. Well, Yamaguchi equals the most number of women's singles finals here at this particular tournament. This is how she did it how she got through to her third final and joins the former Olympic champion Li Xuerei and Wang Shexian as the only women singles players here at the French Open to contest three finals. Well, 
in a way, it was a bit of a tame final rally, wasn't it? But what a wonderful match. Confirmation of the score, 21-13, 10-21, 21-18 in the deciding game in exactly an hour and one minute. Welcome back to Stade Pierre de Coubertin here in Paris. What a fabulous women's singles semi-final we've just witnessed with Akana Yamaguchi through to her third final here at the Yonex French Open, beating last year's champion Kim Se-young. Next up is men's singles, and it's an all-Japanese affair with Kento Momota, the reigning and two-time world champion, up against Kanta Suniyama looking to reach his first final at Super 750 World 